Now that Vite version 3 has been released and it's supported by Laravel, let's revisit how you can incorporate Bootstrap 5, Tailwind CSS and Vue.js into your workflow. All the examples you'll see here were created with Laravel Sail, but the concepts apply even if you use Composer or Laravel Valet. Let's start with Bootstrap. First, let's install the default dependencies with npm install. Now we install Bootstrap using npm. We also need Popper because several Bootstrap elements depend on it for positioning. Finally, we need to install SAS so Vid and Bootstrap can work together. Next, we need to configure Vid. We need to add an alias in order to properly import Bootstrap. Open vid.config.js and add the following section. Now we need a SAS file that will import Bootstrap into our project. What I like to do is to create a folder called SAS inside resources. And inside that folder, create a new file called app.scss and add the following line. Now we need to import this new file and also all the JavaScript functionality. Open resources, js app.js and add the following lines. If you want to keep the clutter at a minimum, you can import only the plugins that you need, like this. But I'll just import everything for this example. Now we just need to import the JS file into our Blade template using the Vite directive. Since the CSS file was imported via JavaScript, we don't need to include it here. Now I'll start a Vite dev server and there you go. Next up is Tailwind CSS. I'll do this one in a different project since usually you either go with Bootstrap or Tailwind, but not both. As always, we start with all the default dependencies. Now let's install Tailwind CSS and all the extra dependencies that we need. Okay, after that, we initialize Tailwind CSS with this command. This will create two files, postcss.config.js, which takes care of setting up Tailwind and Autoprefixer plugins, and tailwind.config.js, which is where you customize your Tailwind experience. We need to modify tailwind.config.js to let Tailwind know where are the files it should scan for CSS classes. Simply add the following lines in the content section. Ok, almost there. Open resources, CSS, app.css and add the following lines to import Tailwind CSS classes. And we're good to go. Again, don't forget to include the resources using the Vite directive. Unlike Bootstrap, here we will import both app.css and app.js. Now start a Vite dev server and done. Tailwind CSS is ready to use. And finally, Vue.js. For this example, I'll use the same Tailwind project since Vue and Tailwind are my perfect combo. First, let's install Vue.js. Next, we need the Vid plugin for Vue, so let's install that right away.
Now open v.config.js, import the view plugin, and add it in the plugins section. To test this out, I'll move the contents of the welcome view into a component. What I like to do to keep my environment organized is to place my components inside a folder called, well, components, no surprise there. Create the components folder inside resources.js. And inside that folder, create a file called card.view. This component has no functionality, so a template will suffice. Move the contents of the main tag in the welcome view in here. Now we need a file to load this component. Inside resources.js, create a file called card.js. Now add the following content to that file. First, import create app from view dist view.esm-bundler. Then import our card component and finally create a view app as you normally do. Go back to the welcome view and add an ID of app to the wrapping div and place the card component inside. I will also add an extra call to the v directive to include our card.js file. The next step is to let v know that we want to bundle the card.js file in our project. So open v.config.js again and add the file path in the input section, like this. Now we start a new v server or restart the one that you had running. And it works. But wait, where are the styles? Well, you need to inform Tailwind that you are adding styles in your Vue.js files. So open tailwind.config.js and add the following line in the content section. And now we can use Tailwind CSS inside our Vue.js components. Okay, that's all for this video. I hope you found at least one thing helpful. And if you did, click that like button and consider subscribing as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.